This channel brings daily updates about the San Francisco 49ers. If I were you, I'd already hit the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell, because there are incredible updates and you wouldn't want to miss them, right? Let's go, San Francisco 49ers, yeah! On Tuesday, it was Kyle Shanahan, coach of the San Francisco 49ers, addressing the media during the NFL annual meeting in Orlando, Florida. This springtime event gathers NFL owners, executives, and coaches to vote on rule and bylaw changes and to provide updates for the entire league in preparation for the 2024 season. It's all about maintaining consistency in every aspect. When you have a whole season for review, unlike the seven games from last year, there's a lot of footage to go over. Nobody's perfect, but with the available replays now, we can review those aspects and apply them on the field. On Wednesday, the Pro Football Hall of Fame announced Bill McPherson, former coach and executive of the San Francisco 49ers, as the recipient of the 2024 Award of Excellence. The Awards of Excellence honor individuals who have contributed to the success of NFL and professional football clubs. This program was initiated by the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2022 to recognize those who have made a significant impact on the game. NFL owners, executives, and coaches are gathered in Orlando, Florida, this week for the NFL League annual meeting, where they vote on rule and bylaw changes and provide updates for the entire league in preparation for the 2024 season. Jed York, CEO of the San Francisco 49ers, John Lynch, President of Football Operations and General Manager, and Coach Kyle Shanahan are among the attendees representing the team at this spring's annual meeting. Meanwhile, March Madness is in full swing, and San Francisco 49ers quarterback Brock Purdy is closely following, rooting for his alma mater at Stanford University's Maples Pavilion. On Sunday, Purdy was in attendance to support the Iowa State women's basketball team against second-ranked Stanford Cardinal in the second round of the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament. Is it too early to evaluate the competition? Perhaps. However, the 49ers' early moves in free agency are certainly attracting attention across the league, and it's time to pay attention to what the national media is saying about them. John Lynch, president of football operations and general manager, and his team have been working diligently, and after the first weeks of free agency, the team has strengthened its defensive line, added valuable depth to its secondary, brought in special highlights, and bolstered the offensive line. The initial signing was that of Leonard Floyd, a specialist in pressuring the quarterback, expected to complement pro bowler Nick Boza well. With nine years of experience and a Super Bowl championship on his resume, Floyd brings with him four consecutive seasons with 9.0 or more sacks, along with a perfect availability record in the last six seasons. Over the past two years, one of the most talked about quarterbacks has been Brock Purdy, who plays for the San Francisco 49ers. Selected as the last overall pick in the 2022 draft, Purdy grabbed the NFL spotlight when he took over as the 49ers starting quarterback in 2022, replacing Jimmy Garoppolo during the season. Even with Garoppolo's fall, the hopeful Super Bowl 49ers maintained their momentum when the previously unknown Purdy stepped onto the field. Purdy led the 49ers to the NFC Championship game before facing his first major challenge when he injured the ulnar collateral ligament, UCL. After recovering from the injury, Purdy returned even stronger in his second year. He led the 49ers to a 5-0 start to the season, being one of the leading MVP candidates for much of the year. Additionally, he led the NFL in yards per attempt and passer rating, guiding the 49ers to the Super Bowl, where they were defeated by the Kansas City Chiefs. Despite the surprising success over the past two seasons, Purdy has been the target of much criticism. Many argued that his performance was due to the 49ers' scheme, the talent around him, and coach Kyle Shanahan. However, the negative opinions do not phase the 49ers, who continue to praise Purdy for what he has achieved. 
In a recent interview with Steve Weish of the NFL Network, Shanahan emphasized Purdy's excellence and mentioned that this is his first real offseason since being drafted. Shanahan stated, he's been incredible, week after week. He came back from a serious injury in his first year and had an incredible year this year. In his second season, Purdy led the 49ers to a 12-5 record and first place in the NFC. He accumulated 4,280 yards, 31 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions, while the 49ers ranked in the top five in statistics such as total yards, passing yards, rushing yards, and points per game for the first time under Kyle Shanahan's leadership. Despite the criticism, Purdy's career is just beginning and has already had a great start. Although he failed to lead the 49ers to victory in the Super Bowl last year, he is still a young quarterback with plenty of potential to continue his development and improvement. San Francisco 49ers linebacker Dre Greenlaw and general manager John Lynch seem to have a friendly discrepancy in their opinions regarding when he will be able to return from his Achilles tendon injury suffered in Super Bowl 58. Lynch stated on Monday that Greenlaw, who was unexpectedly injured while preparing to enter the game in the second quarter, is aiming to return for week one of the 2024 season. However, Lynch takes a more realistic view. The Achilles tendon recovery is a lengthy process, Lynch said. Dre may say he'll be back for week one, and I don't doubt Dre, but we need to be cautious. Perhaps it's an expectation situation. It's likely that Greenlaw will be placed on the PUP, physically unable to perform, list, considering his injury occurred just last month. Nevertheless, Greenlaw seems determined to refute Lynch's opinion, sharing a photo on his Instagram story showing his recovery from the injury. Lynch, of course, hopes Greenlaw is right and can return at the beginning of the 2024 season. Otherwise, the 49ers have at least one veteran to replace Greenlaw alongside Fred Warner as they've signed 2021 All-Pro Devondra Campbell to a one-year contract. Having Devondra gives us an opportunity. He plays in our style, has a lot of experience, and can step in for Dre if necessary, Lynch explained. Greenlaw's injury was crucial in the 49ers' loss in the Super Bowl, and the team made a strategic move to ensure they were better prepared for his possible absence at the start of the season. For Greenlaw, the challenge is to demonstrate that the depth provided by the veteran is an advantage, exceeding the expectations of his general manager. Now it's your time to interact with us, leave in the comments what you thought of the video, and, as usual, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell.